We're live. Hello, hello. I'm Garby the Glitcherous, and today for Loving Unloved Games, I'll be doing Yoshi Story. And with me, I have I actually have a new a new host for Loving a, a new perks for running up lo, unlo, Loving Unloved Games. With me, I have Dijon Ketchup. Hello. Hi, I'm Dijon. Hello. So. So yeah, today we'll be taking a look at Yoshi's Story. Have you played this game any, Dijon? Uh, I had this when I was a kid, and I played it a bunch then. Yeah, yeah. So did you like it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I think this game get, kind of gets like just a bad reputation because like it's it's quite a bit different from 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 Yoshi's Island, and the structure of it is a lot different. Yeah, and a lot of people. A lot of people also say it's too easy, but it can definitely be hard if, depending on how you play it. It does have its hard parts to it, but yeah, it was, uh, this is like, supposed to be like the follow-up to Yoshi's Island, but it was like, kind of watered down from that game, so people didn't really, uh, appreciate it much. Yeah, I had this game as like a kid, and I and I honestly enjoyed it. But but yeah, this is this is a pretty neat game. So first, I'll be doing like just kind of a playthrough that I like the way I feel you play it if you played it at first, like just trying to get through the levels quickly. But yeah, the general structure of this game is that you can choose like any level, any any level in for the first level, and then afterwards, if you collect. If you collect like melons, you can you can go to farther levels. Yeah, I knew there was like something you had to collect to get the uh, like other staples. Yeah, yeah. I do. And like the. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, you you see me just collecting various fruit that will recover my health, and the melons that I'm getting the. Gr like fully green, light green ones are the ones that you generally want to get if for like high scores because they give like 100 points apiece and that's generally and there's exactly 30 in each level which is how many fruit you have to collect so generally the goal if you're like trying to do kind of 100 percent is to get all the melons in every level. Yeah, and that's like that's also like. Slightly confusing because there's two different melons. Like there's the regular watermelon, and then there's the like light, light green ones. And the light green ones are the ones that you get like the bonus. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's definitely pretty confusing. And and like you can tell like by the design, it kind of does intend for you to get like melons because there's like bonus challenges based on like getting melons, like you saw there, like. If you do it in the, the quickest time, you can get melon. You can get like seven melons. But yeah, there's also like a bonus you got like for collecting enough of the same fruit in a row. Like not just the, the melons, but any of them. But there was that roulette at the beginning of the stage that was like, this is the, the lucky fruit for this level. Yeah, like the luck that like gives you all your health back, I think. And hey, we're already in yeah, the I think... way through the game. Yeah, so we get to see some of the story. Uh... I this song. <laughs> yeah. Like, but yeah, the Yoshi, the Yoshi's real happier. But yeah, and yeah, we didn't collect anything on, so we're just gonna be doing like the first level of this. Yeah, I think there were like these hidden like hearts you had to collect, and the number you collect affected the number of stages you had, or something like that. It, it's been a while. Yeah, like. Yeah, there's three hearts in each level, and if you click, get all three of them, there'll be four stages to choose from. 
and this like introduces like this enemy and and yeah. Uh, really interesting way of like setting the stages up. Like, yeah, you, know, you only unlock certain stages if you explore the previous stage enough. To, uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I keep hitting, getting those. <laughs> but, yeah, there's certain, certain things that, oh. like, hurt, that, like, cause you to lose health, like that thing there. That was one of the hearts there. Yeah, yeah, so that'll uh, open like, up, like, another stage that I can do. So, and, like, the hacker would also, like, let you do this. And you can even, like, turn enemies into... Uh, into, like, fruit as well. Also, what's it like? There's anywhere I can get at. Wasn't this like one of the few uh, N64 games that used the D pad? The D. Wait, the D pad? This doesn't use the D pad that much. Okay. Like, it uses it to. You can, like, zoom in and out the display with okay. this. I know Kirby 64 used it, even though not a lot of games use it. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium games used it. Ah! Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of. The, I'd say that the reason a lot of people say this game is too easy because it's pretty easy to restore health, but I don't know, I think this is still pretty fun. And some parts can be pretty tricky. A lot of the challenge I feel is just in the exploration of the levels, trying to find all the melons, I think. There's, there's like a speedrunning category for like just melons. Yeah! Yeah, there's also like I think something you can get that'll give me another Yoshi, like if I if I can find it. Like I think a shy guy can give me an extra Yoshi. There were like I don't remember how, but there were ways you could unlock uh, a black Yoshi and a white Yoshi. Oh yeah, I think you have to find like eggs inside the level that are hidden to unlock those. This, this playthrough is kind of just going to be more of like a playthrough trying to go quickly. And maybe not after this I'll do like a playthrough that I kind of try to get, do more thoroughly. See if I can get... I was kind of going to get a heart there because that could have given me a stage that I haven't unlocked yet, but... But yeah. That's just... I'm just kind of trying to speak through these levels. <laughs> Yeah, kind of like the design style they did for this was like it was supposed to be like a pop-up storybook. Oh, yeah. That's kind of definitely an interesting style to choose for this game, I think. And it's... It's definitely a colorful game. Yeah. Let's go with pink, pink Yoshi. Yeah, this has like the snakes that you can ride and you can just jump on them to change the direction they go. Oh yeah. Also, there was a weird like blue jeans thing that's just like the background has like these weird blue jeans. 
pockets and stuff, and it was like the, the label on the cartridge was like on a pocket, like a jeans pocket or something. Oh, huh. That's, that's pretty interesting, wow. And you can also, like, do this to, like, try to find, like, melons. Like, you can, like, grab on the ground at a certain place, and then this will, like, help you find melons. Found something. And, yeah, that's just coins, though. But yeah, definitely like the animation style of this game is very charming, I'd, I'd say. Yeah, from here you can kind of see where, like, the styles of other Yoshi games have kind of come from, like, Crafted World and Wooly World. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, this definitely does, like, kind of give me some of those, like, Crafted World and Wooly World vibes, definitely. Wait, you can, like, I think I, like, just move the mail without actually collecting it for some reason there. That was interesting. Uh... And, yeah, one thing, oh, other thing... One thing I like about this game, like, relative to other games, to original Yoshi Island, is that you can actually go back within the levels with the warps that you're, like... They, it is possible to just loop back through the stage, which you couldn't do in Yoshi's Island. I feel it was kind of a flaw of that game, so yeah. it is nice that they fixed that. This game was kind of more like, um, like levels. The levels kind of like either like hit a dead end or wrapped around or something, and because the you know, of course the the level doesn't have like an exit, it just ends when you get like the dirty fruit. Oh yeah. Yeah, I guess it kinda be necessary for like to have it like that, just cause that's kinda how it works. But I still appreciate that there's like it like kind of has more of an exploration feel with it because the Yoshi's Island kinda I feel proud for that, but not being able to go back with a lot of the levels kind of hurts it a little bit. I think there's a lot of stuff here. Oh! Feels like there should be some melons here. Ooh, a heart! Yay! Yeah, it seems like this game was more geared towards children than Yoshi's Island was. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that, yeah. Oh, it, it seems like mainly, that was mainly for a heart and not a lot of melons. Yeah, we're getting close. To, we're actually getting close to a boss. The boss of this this level. But there's a boss in this section of it. Oh, I need to hit this with that to get this. And I don't like him on that. What's here? Ooh. Thank <laughs> you. 
There was something falling from the... Oh, huh. Yeah, there. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. And I think this will probably to like a melon or something. Yeah, okay, so that's that end. We're gonna be heading to... It's a pretty, like, interesting boss, I'd say. <laughs> and, that, and I love that, like, scary look Yoshi gives when fighting a boss. Yeah, here you just need to, like... Do that. Uh, what I want to do it here or there. You, ju you just need, need that boss in it real quick. <laughs> But yeah, in general, I don't think the bosses of this game are that hard. The other bosses that you can fight in this world are harder, but in general, most of the things in this game aren't that tricky. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of in the way of bosses in this game. Yeah. Yeah, there's like four bosses in this, in World 3, and then just Bay Bowser in the last world, I think. And so we're heading to the fourth world, and I think I'll do the second level, just because I feel like that's kind of an interesting level. Oh, and the music is pretty cool too, I think. Yeah, this level doesn't start off that tricky, but there is, like, a fish that can eat you, like, eat you later in the level, so you have to be really careful. It's also one, probably one of the more, the hard parts of this game, honestly. Just because it's easy to just, just take a death in this level. Because she can actually swim in this game. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty cool, yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Yeah. That's Oh no. That's the fish. Yeah, you s Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to be careful. Yeah, that's definitely pretty tricky. Yeah. So this this game doesn't have live per se, but like um when you die, your Yoshi gets kidnapped and taken to the castle. So you just have one less Yoshi to work with, and then that's a game over if all of your Yoshis get captured. Yeah, and it's a, and it's honestly a surprisingly grim game on the screen, and honestly, if it looks like I'm gonna get it, I'm just gonna reset the game, because I'm scared of it. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a video game. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna try to get these. Like, if you push these two question marks together, you can get two melons. Yeah, so that's kind of part part of the puzzle aspect of this game, I'd say. 
You don't know how to get the melons. So. Like, it's not too bad to get them in, like, the first level, but it definitely gets really tricky to get them later. Oh, no! That Those are pretty tricky. The ones that shoot water. So he's just actually fall, fall in the water. Oh! Okay, let's... Let's do that! You can even get eaten when you're happy, so that's kind of unfortunate. <sighs> I'm almost finished with this level at least. I only have to get a few more fruit. So, but yeah, I'd say this is honestly probably one of the one of the harder levels in this. Okay, that was scary. <laughs> uh, like the hitbox on those are feel a little. Little mean. <laughs> I want a few more eggs. Oh no! I, it's never good to be in the water here. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a heart. Ooh, um, yeah. I do think this means I don't have to do the water levels. Like the next world would have underwater levels, but I should be able to skip those with the with what I have, I think. Uh, I wanna find a couple more. I guess I should probably try to like see if I can get a get some like Okay, yeah, I can yeah, get some, some melons from this, but I need to be careful. <laughs> Your fish uh, doesn't want to... Okay, so I just need to land on that platform. Okay, so now just do this. But yeah, it, this game honestly does pick up some in difficulty toward the end. Especially if you, like, do some of the hard levels, like that one. Uh. jerks. Yeah! <laughs> So we're heading to the fifth world. There's only two more worlds in like a normal playthrough, in like just a single playthrough of this. But the thing with this game is that you have to do, you have to do like four playthroughs to get all the levels. Uh, of how the structure of this game works. So there is a quite a bit of replay value with this. Uh, So I'm gonna do this all just because I don't want to do like an underwater level. But yeah, there's like starts being lactose that do that. Use the spot balls. Oh yeah, I think I can like... Oh, I can't do it with those enemies. Normally you can like, turn the enemies into fruit, but I wouldn't have to do it with those. I think that could be on like the ground to do that, probably. Oh yeah!
Oh yeah, and there's like another one of those things I can get with like just getting six of the fruits. Like it's cool the music changes with how but when you get that. Mm. Mm. Are we almost done with this level? Mm. We came kind of well pretty soon. Yeah, it's a bit of a short level. Mm. Yeah. Like, the happy fruit also do really help to, like, speed level up since you can just turn enemies into fruit. Like, this almost does seem like a pretty fun game to run, I will say. I don't remember if I actually got any of the hearts level. I may just need to do like the first level with this. I don't really do much exploring there. The Yoshi's Roo Happier. Yeah, so just gonna be doing this level. Mega Castle. Yeah. It is actually possible to get crushed here, and but I don't want, I don't want to have to do that. So yeah, Love like it. with this, I'm pretty sure. You, yeah. Okay, cool, there is a melon there. Oh. oh, and there's also the those you have to be pretty careful with. And yeah, if you eat like like the spi those spicy peppers, I think they are, you'll lose health. Because Yoshi doesn't like spicy things. Oh. I do think if you have, you're, you're using like the black or white Yoshi, you can eat those without losing health. I honestly don't recall. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a bit to uh, like use those a lot, but but yeah, I think I remember that being a thing. Oh yeah, you... the last time I didn't know how to use those because I don't think I knew that you had to like hit the hit them to reveal that, but that's how you get this. I believe this is like a bonus game or what? Oh, it just leads to the next part. Level. I'm just kind of damage boosting through a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, like, I can't really think of another way to do that. You could, like, wait on it to, uh, to fall down and then, like, go through it, but that's pretty slow. So, yeah. And you can also just eat, eat the black, black shy guy, but you'll lose some health by doing that. But it is fat. It is kind of a little faster. Yay, another heart! Yay. 
Which there are no more levels after where we start. Yeah, it still gives like points, but as far as getting like more more like more like levels, that it doesn't really help with that. Oh, you have to be careful with these, like, I'm just gonna wait on this to, like, you can, they can really easily just, like, smush Yoshi, oh, yeah. which, yeah. uh, I wanna say there's a secret down here, I guess I can just look down, no, it doesn't, the screen doesn't, like, pan to, like, let you do it, I'm just gonna, just... I'm pretty sure there is, but, oh, yeah, okay, it'll just give another heart. Oh, hey, another melon, yay. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to, like, the final boss. So. Yeah. Just a couple more fruit to get. Oh! <laughs> yeah, this can be mean. Yikes. I don't know, I didn't expect to do it again that quickly, but, uh... Oh, I think you, like, actually keep the fruits that you had after you died. I didn't know that you did, that you did that. I need to be careful now, honestly. I only have a couple, like, about three more Yoshis, I believe. Uh, so, yeah. And you're, like, one hit away from... Yeah, I'm, like... Yeah, as you can, like, tell, like, the music, like, the, dramatically changes the now after that happens. Cold and alone. Hey, look at that, though. <laughs> now I just need to find another yeah, fruit flower somewhere. Flower side shade. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yay. Okay, there's that, so... We'll finish with that, with that, so now we'll be facing the final boss. Yeah, I don't know, this game can be kind of tricky if, if like, like with some of the stuff with it, honestly. It's not the hardest game, but there are some tricky bits. And here will be face. Facing... Facing Baby Bowser, so we just need to keep doing this. Ah! Oh, yay! Right there. And that. Oh, that didn't get big as well. And so I don't think eggs actually work against this, so just wanna. wanna like. get rid of them. Oh, wait, no, they do work. Okay, I, they didn't seem to work when I tried them, tried them once, so I didn't think they worked. So. But yeah. That's Bay Bowser down. Pretty. It's not, not the hardest fight. I don't remember any of that boss at all. Ah. Uh, but yeah, that's. There is a way to get, like, a lot of health back, so. It's it's not the hardest fight, but it's a pretty interesting fight just because of how, in the first phase, you you need to, like, hit the spikes to damage Baby Bowser at the beginning. But the last phase, honestly, is not really that tricky. If you're out of out of like eggs, you do have to wait on the bomb though, so, which is a little little annoying. But that's 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 the first place I'll be doing for this episode. But yeah, definitely if you're like playing it first, like ah, <laughs> I think I'll just like reset so I can show off like the. The second, like, the second playthrough. Hit <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, the toss screen's pretty, pretty neat. Oh, okay, good. I'll probably be, like, trying to get, like, new levels here. So, is it, are the blue ones levels you haven't beaten yet? Oh, I didn't notice, but that's probably how it is, because I don't think I did, like, level 3 yet. Right. I honestly don't remember. I never I never really even, like, paid attention to what blue and red meant, but that's pro honestly probably it, because I don't think I've done this one. Mm 
I'll probably be, like, kind of trying to look for the heart so I can, like, get to new levels. I want to say that if I... I don't think I've done the first level in this, so I don't need to find a... Like, the only one I have done is the first level, so I don't need to find any hearts here. I've done, like, three complete playthroughs of this game, so I just need to, like, do one more to complete... Get, like, everything. I kind of want to get shot off like the other types of like melon minigames that were. Like, I did like the rice one, but I haven't done any of the others yet. So hopefully I can fi find some of those in this playthrough. Oh, nice catch. Oh, oh yeah. Thanks. <laughs> But yeah, those, if you, if you eat them, like, when they're blue, you'll lose health, but when they're pink, you'll gain health. So that's kind of how those work. It's essentially the equivalent of, like, eating the lucky fruit, so... Uh... Yeah, there's, like, a lot of pretty, pretty cool music in this game, though. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I definitely see that. Like, with uh, variations on the, on the music. Oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely really neat. Yeah, I remember when I used to like subscribe to uh, Nintendo Power as a kid. They had a bunch of <laughs> stuff that they would sell, and like one of the things they would sell was the Yoshi Story soundtrack. But but the CD was cut out in the shape of like a Yoshi head or something. So like you could only put it in top loading CD players because it was wow. shaped. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's definitely a thing. Oh yeah, this mini game. Honestly, oh, yeah. for the longest time. For the longest time, I never knew how to do this, and even now it's pretty tricky for me, but... Yeah, it I think you have to do some... It's like it's weird just like a bounce. This one, like, this is a pretty early one, so it's not that bad, but... Later on, it's really complex. And, yeah... But you have to, like, kind of have it where they're about... They're... They're leaning to the right and then start running is, seems to kind of be how to do that. I'm not sure if there's any other strats, but I don't know. That's honestly a pretty tricky thing to figure out. Yeah, it's like physics based, but the physics are weird. Yeah. I forgot. Did I get any? Oh, wait, no, I did get a. I'm just going to be doing the same level, I think, unless I got a hard. I hope I did. I already did the first level in the previous playthrough that, that we did, so, yeah. The Yoshi's grew happier! Yay! Uh... Oh, no, I didn't get a heart. We're just gonna be having to do this level again, I think, then. Like, I, I thought I, this was a new level, but I've gotta do this. We did this in the previous playthrough. Thank <laughs> you. 
Maybe after this playthrough, I'll do like an all melon, like try to get all melons for a level. Probably just the first level because I don't really know how to get the ones in the other levels that well. Because getting all the melons is kind of like what is considered probably the 100% of this, I'd say. Yay, a heart. Uh, I'm hoping I can find another one because I think I need that to get this for the level. Apparently, you can find uh, the Black Yoshi on this level. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I might... Hopefully I can run, run, run across it. That would be pretty cool. You do get, like, extra points at the end of each level for each Yoshi you have left, so... It will be cool if I can find that as far as score is concerned. Hey, Flygon! Yay, Yoshi! Oh yeah, we're just kind of doing some Yoshi story. This is a pretty cool game. Uh, I think there was a Yoshi thing here. The, like the, I'd say that like the eggs and being able to fill them is definitely something that they took from like the original Yoshi's Islands. There were definitely like various things that were lifted from that, but also a lot of new additions. so that I can unlock another level. I'm getting, I'm almost done at finish with like getting the fruit, so I might just kind of want to take a break from time to do that. Wait, I'm actually a little curious. Okay, those can't crush me, that's good. <laughs> Oh, there's these, yeah. Like, you can, like, oh, just yeah. bounce all around everywhere with those. I think you have to launch yourself up from that thing to get to the, the black ocean. Oh! And you can, like, just like, also, like, switch your direction. Oh, you can also, like, like make the HUD disappear. That's pretty cool. I forgot what's here. Okay, I want to probably try avoiding those so that I can make sure that I, I, I get the heart. Er, yeah, I only have one heart right now, so... I must just get up there. I think I probably need to use like yeah, the like two look. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, there. <laughs> Yay. So now I just want to find like another heart, then I'll try to finish level. Oh, that leads to this. Oh no, I don't have enough enough eggs for this. Uh, I think there may have been an egg repel earlier. Yeah. 
Yeah, the samurai. But that didn't respawn, so that's that's a little that's a little unfortunate, but oh well. I can probably get back. Maybe there's a way to get back though, if I like do the route again. Go back go back around. I think it might be permanently gone. I'm not seeing it. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. There's where that heart, the heart is. Uh, and Sinash, when we get another three, not even finish level. Okay, there. Yay. That's the level. So I will play like a new level with this. I'll get to play like an, a snowy level. It's cool that there's like a lot of different set pieces for like the level you can do for a certain world. Yeah. Like in World 3 I think there's like a, a cloud level, uh, uh, like, uh, a tower and like, and like two snow levels that you can do. And the Yoshi grew happier, yay. And yeah, now I unlock like the black Yoshi because I got found the black yeah in the other level. And yeah, fight and yeah, black Yoshi's favorite fruits actually all the fruits, so you can just you can like I forget what the difference between the favorite fruit and the other fruit is. I think it restores three health instead of one, I want to say, but I'm not sure. You change the color of the chai guy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that, that's a pretty neat effect. Yeah, the only unfortunate thing about the black and white Yoshi's is if you, like, if they die, you lose them and you have to, like, go unlock them again. Yeah, that's kind of, that's, that's kind of, kind of an annoying thing with them. Let me see, I think you should be able to eat these. Yeah, they, they actually give a health if you eat the spicy stuff. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Oh, I wanted to actually, like, just, I didn't want to, I, I didn't want to, like, eat that one because if you, if you shoot all four of those, I could have gotten a melon. But, uh... Oh no! Oh! <laughs> those, are, those mini games are tricky. Hmm. Also, the, uh, the fruit thing order is turned off. Yeah, I... Honestly, I did that intentionally, but I don't know. Like, I did that because, like, I don't know, yeah. it, it feels it's a little way. like... Yeah, yeah, it's... It kind of feels a little nicer playing without it, in my opinion. I actually didn't even know you could do that till just just now, honestly. But that's it's pretty cool. That's a, that's a feature. Okay. Honestly, I'm not even sure where the kill plane is, but I feel like I may have been pretty close to taking a death there. Oh yeah, this is a little tricky to do with the snowballs, but there we go. Well, they here like they just... Seems to be a bit deeper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, Pushy helps you, like, find, find stuff. Like, if I can tell there'll be stuff around there. But here there's only coins, though, which, I don't know, It's there's not, like, any melons, I don't think. Hey, Sorlo. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't see that there. I don't even know what that was, but whatever it was, I didn't see it. So. I think maybe you might just want to go wherever Poochie is, is what I would guess. I think that's just like points out of noise. I'm getting plants. Because there's a lot of these that drop bombs. Uh, I think I can get up here. Ooh, hey. Oh, what? A goal? Um, I think you might have to push that to the end, actually. Is what I would guess. I forgot this was a thing. Oh no! Yeah, I think I should be pretty careful here. Are you guys just gonna push this? I think this should probably give something. Yeah, let, let's make some melon pie. Oh, yay! Oh. Okay, so only two more fruits to get. Oh, uh, it looks like I need to actually ride these. Oh, right, I'm going to be facing a boss now. This will be a different one. This might be one of the harder ones. I don't think I can attack him right now. Or maybe I can. Oh, I can, okay. I forget this boss, honestly. How do I wanna cancel? Oh no! Okay! <laughs> Okay, it's actually not that long of a fight, though. Yeah, it looked like it was just three hits. Yeah, I think, I think like, all the Book World 3 bosses are going to get in this game. Standard Nintendo boss fair. Yeah! Eshi! Eshi! I don't know if I got any melons there, actually, so I may not get to do all the levels, unfortunately. Or any hearts, I mean. I forget if I, how many I got. So. Cold-hearted Cloud Gym.
Ah, so I, I can just, I'm only able to do this level, so I won't be able to get, like, complete, like, all the levels in this, like, session, unfortunately, in, like, this playthrough. Uh, no, no, nah, I didn't. I think I just, I, I kind of just went through it, I guess. I didn't like it, sort of. Yeah, I think the only level I have done in more Bab is Bab Dash 2, so I just need to find one heart so I can play that one. Yeah, this is definitely a unit. I think this is the only one like, with this aesthetic. Hey, RBW! <laughs> Yeah, I'm off like Yoshi in World 2. Oh, the white one is pitched up. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, it doesn't think there's anything else there. Okay, I'm not able to... I haven't actually shown off any yet in this session, but I, you can, like, jump on those to warp between those, so I need to find the other ones. 30 million runs never took this popular category, huh? I mean, I can see why it wouldn't be popular. It definitely seems pretty tricky to, like, find all of them in every level, I would say. Oh, there's another one as well. So, oh, yeah. Two hearts around. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 30 million's all one, one lap may be, like, kind of doable, though, but, yeah. Yeah, it's just a matter of, like, finding where they all are. And then, yeah. But, honestly, I think the only one really know how to do it in is the first level, but, yeah. It's honestly probably doable. Okay, yay. <laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> yeah. White and black ocean's like chili peppers, yeah. They have iron bellies. <laughs> yeah, there was another heart back there. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna be doing 5 dash 2 in this, so I, I'm just gonna be like, I don't need to worry about the heart to get the, that level. Okay. And that may also be like another one, so finding other hearts may be asterisk in this level. I don't know if that was the same one as what we saw earlier. I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, I think there might be bees in this part. Uh, is this? Yeah, this part! Oh my gosh, for the longest time I did not know how to get through these bees, but you kind of just need to walk slowly, I think. I don't know if this is actually slow enough, but let's see. Yeah, if you walk quickly, you'll, you won't be able to pass them. Oh, right! The, the, the black Yoshi can, and maybe the white Yoshi as well can, can throw the, those eggs so that they explode. That's honestly really cool. Not the bees! Not the bees! No! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Like, yeah, as long as you don't agitate bees. Like, if you attack the bee hive, they'll actually fight back. Like, like most actual bees. Yeah. I need to find just like a, just a, a bit more fruits. Ooh, there's like a, one of the warps. Uh, I'm gonna try to. These these are honestly hard to avoid. See if I can attack them with. Oh no. Yeah, those are really tricky to get by. Okay, I just need to find one more now. This might be a melon. Nah. <laughs> Just <laughs> just do that to knock them off. Yeah, it's definitely been a little bit since I played this. Oh, that's cool if that's a thing you do. Yashi! I mean, to be fair, if you're gonna break into somebody's house, you should expect them to throw things at you. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, that one's on you, Yoshis. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like two. Yeah, it does look like it follows, like, the trend of that. I want to use Pink Yoshi this time, I think. Even though... It doesn't have- it's not as powerful. Just kinda switch up the Yoshi that you use for this, I think. And this is also a level that's kind of annoying as far as the bees are concerned. I do remember, like, trying to get the hearts here and do one area here, it's pretty tricky. There's, like, a lot of pipes here that you can enter to go to secret areas. You can get some like melons with this. So the only thing I have done for World 6 is World 4, so I'm gonna try to get all the melons here, but I'm not sure if I'll end up doing that, okay, but Pucci, I'll try to. Poochie had to return to his own planet, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this game is, is pretty neat. Also, hi, Dot Faze. It's good to see ya. Oh, uh... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. They look like they're made of clay. Oh my gosh! The melon just flew out of, out of 
me as I was eating it. Aww. That's honestly something that I didn't know could happen until pretty- till just when I was, like, playing this today. Yeah, that poor melon. Aww. Honestly, it, I will say that I'm not a fan of, like, how it, it- it is pretty easy to actually just lose melons forever and have to restart the entire level. Yeah, I got yeeted. Yeah. Fish carrying melons in the background. Yeah, I think they'll come back- come in here in a little bit, so I'm just waiting. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, that that fish just got got yeeted off screen as well. I wonder if there's like any. One neat thing about this game is that in every level there is like a different ladder and it spells out a secret message. I forget what it is, but I remember that it, that that is a thing in this game. Like having the happy heart will let you see a letter. I think they're usually like after special special like mini games or something. Never knew that. Yeah, I don't think I've gotten all letters, but I remember that being a thing in like the strategy guide, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm already almost finished this level. I didn't know I was getting these so quickly, honestly. I honestly may not go for all of them all the all of them here. I'll probably try to at least get one so I can show off a different level than what we saw earlier. Yeah, I remember this being pretty rude, honestly. Um, bees. You have to, like, be slow. Yeah, more bees. Uh... Oh, this might just actually be for melons. Uh... Oh no, this will work, will it? Oh no! I don't know if I can do it now. You have to, like, not be sure to have them not mad. I don't think I, don't think I can get the last one now. Oh, Yeah, this section is tricky. Like, getting all the melons here. It honestly does not feel like you can move fast enough, but maybe I'm just not doing it correctly. Well, yeah, you probably have to, like, speed up and slow down in intervals. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's an apple there. I think it's the last thing. Yeah, I'm trying to find, like, there's a hard... Let me the... see. There's a melon on the floor next to this octopus thing. Chilling yeah, I want to at least get one... I want to at least get one heart before I finish finish this level. down there. Yeah, Oh No! Yeah, that thing is, like, eating you. <laughs> Oh, and there's, like, another melon. So, I won't be getting, like, the, a new level, but I'll be getting a new level for this session, so that's good at least. A different one than last playthrough. Yeah. and we're in the final world again, so yeah. Oh wait, what castle? Yeah, I didn't do this one yet. I guess I'll use Black Hatchy here. Yeah, this, I think you actually need to, like, find a key to be able to unlock that. You can also go to the left, but I don't think that's actually where to go. But yeah, this is a, probably a pretty tricky level. Uh, 
Uh, one other duck, duck right here. Oh, still, still got hits. Oh, at least I'm- this- this part is a little tricky because these can just bounce you off the screen. Oh, I missed that! So close. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, I think I want to actually go back to try to- try to, like, get that thing there. I think there's, like, another mini game right- right there. But I'll see what that is. Oh, right, this is where the key is, actually, so if you, like, hit this, uh, you have to, like, be, sure, be careful with those, though. And there we go. So I can go back to the beginning and do that and use this. Yeah, here's like where you use like the the umbrella. Honestly, I'm not really the best with the physics with this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I missed a lot of the fruit there, unfortunately, but this. The good thing is you can actually return back, so that's a little nice at least. Yeah. I'm just gonna go on, but that is a thing I could do. Just, like, get on the warp to go back to the second warp and try that section again. Get all the fruits. Oh, I think I can actually eat the, the Black Shy Guys that thing damage. Okay, well, I, I think Yoshi's tolerating it. I don't know if that was actually health, but Yoshi tolerates it at least. I wonder how many possible combinations of levels there are in this game. There's like six uh, worlds with hmm. four. Uh, I don't know, I, I can't. Uh, what? At one point, I wanted you how to calculate that out, but I don't know how to calculate that out right now, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I can like do this, I, or no, that doesn't actually get that one. Uh, I think I'm just gonna like, do that. This section's pretty tricky. Like, I have to be careful with everything. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was scary. <laughs> so pretty close to finish to finishing this level. Only five to go, and I'll be facing Bay Bowser. Oh, these! Uh, uh, I forget how you... Oh, you can, like, use the, the, the control stick to do that, but hey, we're finished with this level. So, I wanna... maybe... Oh, yeah, the firework can actually hit hit Bay Bowser, so that's really cool. Uh... Oh, yeah, wow, yeah. 
It feels like Bait Bowser, like Black Yoshi's probably pretty good in this video if he can actually get him, just because he can defeat Bait Bowser a lot quicker. Yeah, wow, this is so, this is actually really neat. Oh, so close. Uh, but there we go. I don't know if Fireworks could hit, could hit Baby Bowser, but that's really cool. <laughs> I hate you, puny little Yoshis. Uh, and because you had the black Yoshi when you completed the game, you start with it on the next one. Oh, really? That's that's cool. I, I didn't know that that was a thing with this. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, with the black and white ones, as long as you, like, have them, uh, would you finish the game, you start the next one with them. Like, you don't even have to be, like, playing as them when you defeat Baby Bowser. They just have to be in your Isle of Yoshi's. Ah, that that's really cool. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. So... I think what I will do now is like try to beat a level with all melons just to kind of show the process of that. So, uh, I'm going to hear this again. <laughs> it looks like you're just missing four three and six four. Yeah, yeah. I guess the trial mode doesn't let you use them, though. Yeah. But, but yeah, so it's like... I'm just gonna be like trying to get all melons and just... Hopefully I can... It doesn't take that long to do, but... It's a little... But you just kind of got to be a little more careful with... You have to be sure not to accidentally collect any any of the other fruit. <laughs> I know that animation, that's pretty <laughs> neat. That's a... <laughs> Fun little, uh... Yeah. yeah, the game has a lot of charms, so that's, that's cool. Also, that's just, like, like spawns, uh... I forget, like, the ones you need to ground pound to do. I think first I'm gonna just try to beat the race and then go back and get these, uh... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Oops. Okay. But yeah, the, those melons you can potentially lose forever if you complete the race with only having like six, so you have to be careful with that. And we can see the first letter there is Y. <laughs> I want to say the message is like, Yoshi is your friend or something like that. It's something to that effect, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to kill, kill these shy guys, I just want to get them scared, honestly. I'm kind of just doing this to make sure I'm not missing any. This is probably like the fastest way to like check and make sure like that there's nothing there. You can just kind of just walk like this. Yeah, yeah, now Pooji will be here to help us with now and collecting. Oh, yay, another one. Oh, God, is there one here? That's just a uh, one of those. And another one there. Make sure I didn't see anything there real quick. Am I? But, yeah, there's something here, but I think it's just money. Or, like, the coins. I forgot there's any, like, here. 
We need to go back through this and it's a lot of that. Honestly, in my opinion, like, trying to find all the villains isn't my favorite way to play the game, but I can see how it could be fun to, like, just when you know where they all are and stuff, and just try to find all of them. Some of the challenges you need to do to get them are pretty, pretty cool. I can see it being, uh, interesting speed run. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's just a sh a shaga. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Um, oh no, that that sucks. Oh. Well, this is gonna be a tw this is gonna be a twenty nine melons percent run. <laughs> that kind of can happen, unfortunately. Or I guess honestly, I think some of the melons like no, you keep melons forever even even after you take a death. So like keep I think you actually keep the fruit you have after you take a death. So so I'll still like keep these even if I intensely intensely die. So. I won't be able to uncollect that. It's honestly, it's a little annoying that that's like a thing that can happen though. Like I kind of wish you could like, like there's a way to like, like not get fruit, or that you just could get, get 30, 30 miles even if you actually got, a, got fruit. I'm still missing some, some fruit though. I, could, I think I need a little, a little more around here. Yeah, that's just kind of to the point where I need to like look really thoroughly for like the last few melons because I'm missing a few. Oh, those are just coins. I think there were probably some. Oh, I don't know if I got all of the, of the first section of this after getting the. Or wait, no, I did. I don't remember. There might be some I need to like sniff out though in the first half. I didn't really try to do that. That's, I didn't remember mm, that being a thing in the first second. Maybe it is. Wow, where's the other one I'm missing? Uh, uh, like, there's the estimation point, but it's not like speeding up any. Huh, I'm a little confused about this. Oh, maybe it's right, right this way. Okay, there's one call. Yeah. 
Yeah, so Looking Bad. Yeah, you have to actually stop on that. Huh? Looking at it, I'm sorry. See, there's, uh, there's category, you know, not only just any first name category, but like an all levels category of like all the levels on each page. And then all melons for one playthrough, and then all melons for every level. Oh, oh, okay, that's cool. Honestly, I'm glad there's like a category where you get through a level that you don't have to get all the melons because the levels are fun to play through, but getting all the melons is pretty time consuming. Also, um, apparently the world record for any percent is held by Dan Salvato. Oh, the, oh, that's neat. I know that I know that he runs like the all ball melons category for all levels. It seems like I'm just now missing like a few of the few of like the melon. People who don't know who that is. He's a game developer. Probably most famous or infamous for uh, the literature club. Yeah, he he also made like I think he was also a developer for FFZ, Frank Frank Z. Uh, yeah, it's just funny that 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 is the person who has the eighty percent record. No, she's. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the luck, my bot. Oh. So yeah, I just have like one more to get now, so hopefully I can find it somewhere. It might- maybe I didn't check this path. I think I did, but... I don't know. I should check this again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I checked everywhere here. But yeah, these these can be a little bit tricky to find, definitely. Like, this is only the first level, and I'd imagine it's just even more tricky later, but... Some of the levels to get these melons are pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, that's just more coins. I check this a little more. Oh, maybe there's something here. Ooh. Oh no, I already got that. Yeah, just yeah. That I think that was just it. blindly finding the melons is can be tricky. Yeah, I think these are just like platforms now. Uh... Blind melons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she starts to complain when there's no rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just more coins. Okay, there's probably a few more if this bad that didn't find or something, is what I would guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know, honestly, jumping might be the best, but... I'm not sure if there's, like, exactly 30 melons in each stage, or... Oh, huh. I, th I thought there was, but I honestly have never gotten them all, so I'm not sure. Like, I know there is, like, an all-melon speedrun. I'm not sure if there's, like, 30 melons, yeah. Okay, Lovot says there's exactly 30 per level. Oh, okay, yeah. Which would make sense why you're having trouble finding one more at this point. Yeah, this will just be 29, but still, it gets tricky when there's only, like, a few more left. If this takes too long, I might just, like, just get another free, because it's... It gets a little tri- it gets kind of a little annoying to, like, try to just find one that I'm missing. Uh... 
It's just like kind of walking around looking for for melons. Uh. No, there's nothing there. Starting to... Er, maybe I missed something here. I don't know if I checked the lower path this early. Hey. Oh, yay! That's that's one. There we go. Oh, yay! 29 melons. 29 melons. They're accidentally a grape. <laughs> on top of each other. Yeah! But yeah, if you like... If you like... If you like getting all 30 melons like that, that part will actually be a melon. And I think it does it for the other fruits if you're somehow able to do that, but... I feel like you can probably get it to be like another fruit if you, like, use the Happy Harden to turn enemies into a certain fruit. But other than that, it's really tricky to do. Uh, but actually, I think we may be finished streaming for, for now. We may finish, like, with this episode, but that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks for... That That was Yoshi's story. Thanks for being on, Dijon. Yeah, no problem. It's, I had this as a kid, and it's been a long time oh. since I've seen it, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, I think we'll... Probably be raiding Frozen Flygon. I think she's yeah, doing think a she's, all rep. I think she's hmm? on. So she sounds. Yeah. Probably. I think she's doing an a, all red bear all red berries run. Her first all red berries run, if I remember correctly. And I guess before that, I'll do like announcements. Like I think coming up Sunday, we'll have we'll have game of the month with Musty Tuesday and. And also, Fuzzy, the Fudgy Logic game, like, schedules out. You can find it, actually, on, like, the draw, like, the Fuzzy Logic draw on our, our YouTube. Or you can join our Discord, and there'll be the schedule in the public channel. It's all, like, in that. But, yeah, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh... But yeah. Um, bye. Bye, everybody. Let's do the raid. Something right now. Or wait, am I not on the line?